Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Vectors in R Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about comparing vectors using different operators and functions. R performs element-wise comparison using different comparison operators like uh, equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, uh, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to, and always returns a vector of logical values, true or false, for each um, comparison. Uh, first of all, uh, let's create a vector x with uh, one element 3 and compare this vector with uh, some numbers to see a basic comparison of the vector. And let's see if x is greater than 4, which is false. And uh, let's check if x is greater than or equal to 3. Uh, it is true because though x is not greater than 3, it is equal to 3. So let's uh, now create two vectors and uh, compare them using different comparison operators. Uh, so x1 is my first vector and y1 is my second vector. Uh, and let's uh, apply this comparison, uh, x1 greater than y1. And you can see uh, it returns a vector of logical values. And since none of the uh, elements in x1 are equal greater than uh, any elements in y1 uh, so all the logical values are false here and same applies to uh, this logical operation and what about this uh, logical operation where um, x1 is equal to y1 so it, it returns uh, all the logical values uh, true because uh, uh, you can see all the values all the elements in x1 are equal to and the elements in y1 uh, let's see another example uh, let's create another vector x2 and uh, uh, y2 and see these comparisons the same comparison that we have done before okay so in this case uh, we can see uh, a vector with uh, some of the logical value value as a false and some of them are true uh, this is true here because uh, y is uh, 8 is greater than 5 and also uh, this logical value is true here because last element of x2 uh, which is 20 is greater than 15 and uh, in this case also uh, you can see uh, a logical values according to the element wise comparison between x2 and uh, y2 and let's see if x2 is equal to y2 so you can see only one true um, logical value because uh, the the element 11 in x2 is um, equal to uh, another element 11 in y2 so we get a logical value true in, in this vector we can also compare the vectors using all and any function the all functions uh, returns true uh, if all the elements of vectors are true so uh, let's apply this function to our first set of vectors it is true because uh, you can see uh, x1 and um, y1 have all the elements uh, same and uh, let's apply the same function to second set of vectors uh, above and this is false in this case because uh, x2 and y2 have different elements only one element uh, is there in common and any function uh, returns true if any element of the vector is true so if we apply uh, the function uh, with the first set of vectors again then uh, it will give us true of course and uh, uh, let's apply uh, this function to second set of vectors it is true now uh, because uh, uh, not all the elements are equal uh, uh, between x2 and y2 vectors but there is one element uh, which is equal in between them which is same in between them so this any function um, uh, gave us the result uh, true uh, for compare for uh, comparison of these two vectors okay 
So uh, that's all for comparison of factors. Uh, thank you uh, for watching and see you in next tutorial.